Glad to see the men in us safe for your show. Why is that, Edmund? Oh, right. You need to use the Royal Yacht. News travels fast in a little port of call. <laughs> yes, well, I'd hoped to set out this evening. If you'd taken much longer, I would have had to fly back home. That would have been infinitely less preferable. Well, I am so happy I did not compromise your social life. Which is something you're sorely lacking at present. Isn't that true? Is that the source of your testiness, Richard? Cassie has been absent for some time now. Cassie is in seclusion. Yes, I know. That's the official line. But is Cassie in seclusion? Or are you in exclusion? Allow me to point something out to you, dear brother. That when you refer to the reigning princess of San Cristobal, she is to be referred to as Her Royal Highness. I am surprised that the normally impeccable Prince Edmund Winslow should need lessons in protocol. An unforgivable breach. I apologize both to you and Her Highness in absentia, but it would be a greater lack of protocol for me to lose my head over a missing title. City of me. <laughs> to think that uh, a perennial bachelor such as yourself should understand the needs of his brother's pregnant wife. I pity poor Beth. I, I wonder if she realizes what she's sailing into. I think she knows exactly what to expect. Well, then, all the more pity then. I'll make sure that the Royal Yacht is prepared for your excursion. Colonel, the button fell off. Would you mind putting it back on? No, of course not, sir. Bit of a short fuse today, isn't it? Yeah, perhaps uh, you should get on with your warm-up if you're on a tight schedule. Right. How do I do this? Oh, just shake hands with this. As if you're meeting someone for the first time. Susan? Monsieur Seber. Monsieur Seber? Suzanne. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe there was an outfit in the storeroom my size. Well, in the Palace of San Cristobal, all things are possible for you. Okay. So, what do we do now? We just poke each other? Uh, actually, uh, Miss LeMay, the idea is to poke the other person without being poked yourself. Thank you, Colonel. Now, just stay upright, yet relaxed, <laughs> toe forward, hand on your hip. Direct. Susan, proper balance mixed with <laughs> reflex, and of course the mastery of the technique equals brilliant! Oh! <laughs> but it's scary. Why? What scares you? The fact that you're holding a weapon that could harm someone? Or the idea that you dare defend yourself? A very good question. Thank you. A little bit both? Well, then let me assure you, at least on the last point, you have as much right to wield all of your personal power directly and unapologetically in defense of yourself as any boy has. Thank you, sir. There's the mail, honey. Okay. You can't see anyone? anybody through these masks anyway. <laughs> Just so. Now step back over there. It doesn't matter because all that counts is one's ability. Now, face me as you're doing and do as I do. <laughs> On gal, Suzanne. Mind needs to be the strongest part of the body, and as sharp as this. <gasps> Excellent, Susan. Well done. Well, you must just about me. <laughs> you maintained your form and focus. Exactly. Uh, now back over there. Come on, on guard, and advance on me again. How? Well, just 
sink yourself forward. Picture yourself gliding towards me as if you were a wave or a force of nature. Come on. Okay. That's it. Grant, again, one more time, and strike! Ha! Okay! That was really lame. No, don't say lame and fencing, Susan. It's bad luck. Now back over here. I mean, I am so not good at this. If that's your mindset, Susan, then you never will be. Now, come on. Okay. Ed bounce on me. It's all the question of attitude. Not just in fencing, but in everything. Or to Machiavelli, Sun Tzu, and even Cousin Bet have in common. They're all into winning. Exactly, they're all into winning. But winning as a result of self-knowledge. The more you know about yourself, the more you believe in what you can do. And the more you believe in what you can do, the better you can do it. Until, in the end, the only thing that can stop you is yourself. Oh! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Are you okay? I am so sorry. It's I fine. So sorry. And don't, don't be sorry. It was, it was, ah, it was entirely my fault. I underestimated my opponent. But Susan, never, ever, never drop your weapon because you'll find out that even though your opponent is wounded, he may have just enough energy left to shish kebab you. Yeah. Not a good way to end a vacation. I'm not a good way to end, period. Yeah, you have a mean welfare. I'll get some ice. Thank you. Sorry. So don't be. Come here. Come here. Ooh. 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 Your Highness, is something the matter? It kills me, Dax. How my brother's heart can harbor two such distinctly different characters. One so good. And one so evil. <laughs>